Hi Foundations of Business Analysis students and welcome to this Excel tutorial on descriptive statistics. In today's tutorial what we're going to focus on is looking at descriptive statistics for categorical variables. Given the nature of categorical variables in that they're observed in categories, basic descriptive statistics such as means and standard deviations are not really appropriate. Therefore, the form of descriptive statistic analysis that is relevant for categorical data is to count the number of observations within each category and look at the proportion of observations that fall within each category. The way we do this is by reporting a frequency distribution and today I'm going to show you how you can do that in Excel. So what I've got open in front of us now is the real estate case study data file that we've been working on for this trimester. Now one way to create a frequency distribution in Excel is via the use of a pivot table. So with my cursor selected somewhere in the data that I've got on the screen here, I go to the insert ribbon and click on pivot table. Now what you can see it will automatically identify the area that contains data and include that as the data range. So I confirm that's correct and I click OK. And here I'm asking that the new pivot table will be reported in a new worksheet. Okay, so now the pivot table has been formed and I have to define what I want to measure in my pivot table. In this case, what I'm going to create is a frequency distribution that looks at the number of observations in each of the five categories of the condition of a house. So I'm going to click and drag condition and bring it down here in terms of row labels. And what you can see has come on the screen now are the five different potential categories, one, two, three, four, and five. They're the five possible groups of condition of the house that an observation can fall into. Next thing I need to do is go back to that condition variable again and drag it down into the values box down here. What we can see has come up on the screen now is a count of the number of observations that fall within each of the five buckets. So what I've managed to create on the screen now is a frequency distribution. An alternative form of distribution that we're often interested in is a percentage distribution, whereby we look at not just the number of observations within each category, but the proportion of observations that fall within each category. The way I can do that is by going back to my condition variable and dragging it down into values again, and you can see that a new column has been created here. Now, if I click on the little tab beside the name of that second variable and select value field settings, it will open up a menu where I can actually define what this variable, uh, how it's actually measured and what it's represented as. So I'm going to select show values as and I'm going to ask it to give me a calculation and what I want here is a percentage of the column total. Click OK and what we can see now for each variable we've actually got a representation of the percentage within each group. The last thing that we might want to do in our frequency distribution table is to create a chart that represents this data. So the way that we can do that is by creating a pivot chart and we select the type of chart we want. In this case, I think the best way to represent categorical data is a pie chart. So I'm going to select OK for the pie chart. And what we can see here is that we've got a representation of the number of observations within each category on our condition chart. Now, I might want some of condition as the title, so I can click on that menu there and I can change the topic as condition of house. That will change the title. Okay, And I can change different layouts and different formats by selecting the menu options at the top. Uh, for example, I can select the percentages to be displayed for each of the options. So with that data, I've got a representative of the descriptive statistic that can be used to explain categorical data. Thanks for watching this video.